In a mock draft published Monday for Boston Sports Journal, Patriots reporter Mike Giardi predicted the team will take J.J. McCarthy with the number three overall pick. Giardi said he knows, quote unquote, for a fact that New England likes McCarthy. So Keyshawn, here we go again with yet another indication. J.J. McCarthy is rocketing up draft boards. Does this change your mind at all about J.J. not even being a first round pick in your mind? It, it, it doesn't change my mind just because somebody writes that they're going to take him as a quarterback at the number three spot or wherever they take him. It doesn't change my mind. I'm not taking J.J. McCarthy with the third pick of the draft. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't, I didn't see anything in college football that made me go, oh, my God, that's the number three pick in the draft. Because if you're three, you, that means you could be one. Mm. And if you're three, that means you could be two. And if you're one, you could be three. And if you two, you could be three. So you're telling me right now that our eyes have told us that he's equal to Caleb and Jalen Daniels in our eyes? Because one and three ain't far apart, Skip. It is just not, mm -mm. okay? Because if those two guys, Jalen Daniels and Caleb Williams, were not on the board, are you telling me that he's the number one quarterback if those guys weren't there? That's what What, what did you see? Mm -hmm. This year, other than winning the national championship, that make me go, oh, my God, I got to have this guy. Well, you just swept that under your little carpet over there about other than winning a national championship. He did do that. And that's yeah, what a, people you're, like uh, about you, him. You're on a team. Yeah. Okay, you're on a team mm -hmm. that's loaded all the way around with a, with a phenomenal coach. I'm just talking about the quarterback position. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about arm strength. I'm talking about the ability to... Because you can't throw the football in the National Football League on a consistent basis, eight times a game. Okay, he threw the ball eight times against Penn State. They he won did. that one. He well, threw in, it, in the second half, he threw he, it no time. Okay, Ohio yeah. State, he threw it 20 times. Yep. And in the national championship against Washington, mm -hmm. he threw it 18 times. Didn't need to throw it. Yep. Okay, but, yep. but I got it. You're I right. still need my quarterback to be able to make all the throws in a game, not in T-shirts, in shorts, at a combine, or at a pro day. I need him to be able to do all of those things on a consistent basis. Those reps are meaningful when you transfer into the National Football League. Mm. They just are. I get it. Yeah, maybe the 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 the, uh, the amazing blue that Tom Brady wore makes you revisit. Well, maybe we could hit hit again on that one. But to take a quarterback three years later, this time, if you took Mac Jones three years ago, now you're gonna reach for another guy because I felt like Mac Jones was a reach even though they took him in the middle of the first round, that that was a reach then. Yep. And it, however you want to say it, whether Bill screwed it up or he just wasn't good, it didn't work out. No. And now you're telling me <clears throat> that I'm getting ready to jump to the third spot mm. to go up and get J.J. McCarthy? I just doesn't work for me. Mm. But what the hell do I know? I'm just a guy. Well, you told me you're you know, good at picking quarterbacks. I'm just a, I'm just a guy yeah. that played the game and caught a lot of balls from a lot okay. of different quarterbacks. All right. I did not like Mac Jones coming out of Alabama, and I said so here on television ahead of the draft, and I could not believe that Belichick would go up to get him because it was a, re a desperate reach. Yes. Oh, maybe I got my next Brady. Nope, you don't. And he had his moments, especially his first year. And then once he fell apart, he stayed falling apart. Because once you lose your confidence at that position, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. And I do think Mac Jones would have a chance to re sort of rebuild himself in Jacksonville as he goes back to his See, hometown. I don't think he's good, though, but that's but, just me. But, Well, you know what? You're probably right. That's probably the bottom I line. I, I know everybody want to say that Belichick messed him up by putting Matt Patricia in them. Yeah, that yeah. had a little bit to do with it. But even his rookie year... If you're really going, you break down the field, he wasn't pushing the ball down the field. Was Everything was at the line of scrimmage or a few yards beyond He's the line He's a soft scrimmage. armor. He doesn't have much arm at all. And, and so I'm not going to create this narrative as if all of a sudden Mac Jones should have been the first pick okay. of that draft. I, right. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I am here to tell you, J.J. McCarthy is better than Mac Jones. He might and maybe be. Maybe that's not he saying a whole lot. He might be. But I've told you from the start about J.J., I like him, but I can't go to love him because of what you said. They just didn't throw it enough for me to know because I didn't get to see it on a consistent basis. But here's the point. 
Does he have enough size to play in the league? You better yeah, believe he does. Yeah, 6'2 and a half, 220 pounds. It's plenty of size. Is he athletic enough to hurt you with his legs occasionally? Yeah. He is. So somebody he, get a hold of him, he, yes. Well, he definitely is. Does he have high football IQ? He does. Does he have a kind of a quirky charisma to him? He does. Did he make a bunch of big throws when they had to be made for Michigan in big games against Penn State and Ohio State and then into the playoffs against Alabama and Washington? He did. He made a lot of big throws when he had to make the throw. Did he consistently riddle teams? Did he pick them to pieces with his arm? He did not because they didn't do that. They ran the football way more than they threw the football. And that little running back of theirs who's going to be in this draft, he's got some Emmett Smith in him ducking and darting behind those linemen. To, to your point, they, they annihilated Michael Penix in the championship. They just, they were all over him all night long and he got battered. Now, I, I felt for him because he was overmatched against their defense. So what it did was it, it allowed Jim Harbaugh to call more runs than passes because they did not fall behind and they did not have to throw their way back into games because that's not how they played football. So there's- But even, even though, I'll, I'll just yeah. stop you yeah. in your tracks. Even though they ran the hell out of the football. They did. When have you, you've been, you've been doing this a long time, Skip. When have you ever seen a, I'll just say top three, since that's what we're talking about. Yeah. A top three college quarterback projected to go into the draft in the top three. Again, that means you could be one or two. You could be, at that point, you could be anywhere. Not throw the football in college. No, oh, it's a, it was, you're asking a very and, good question. Andrew Luck threw the ball. Yep, he did. And he was on the same, he was coached by the same guy, running the same plays, using three tight ends. Yep. With, with like, I don't know who was his running back, like Toby Gerhardt or something like be, that. I don't he was, he was running that. the football yep. at Stanford, mm -hmm. but he also was throwing it. He they was. didn't take it out of his hands. A lot. A lot. It. And sometimes he was throwing it to the other so, team, but so, that's a whole nother So issue. again. Yep. If you three, you can be one. And he ain't Andrew Luck. So that's my only thing, is when I'm looking at this, and I understand this is the, this is the hype season of running draft boards up and down it's and trying to see. It's also the smoke screen it's season. It's the smoke screen season. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I get it. That's why I'm like, nah, you're not going to get me with this. So are other teams trying to talk a New England into to overdrafting him at three, maybe. Either overdrafting him or trading out of it, the number three spot, making him feel a certain way. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, would, be, I would be dumbfounded and shocked to think that they would get him at three when they could possibly get him somewhere else or take one of those other quarterbacks, those Bo Nixes, the Michael Penix, mm -hmm. somewhere in the later round. Could and still be able to fill that void at the quarterback position. Okay. I still say J.J. is better than Bo Nix, and J.J. is better than Penix. I believe that. Okay. And it's close with Penix, because I'm, I'm pretty much a fan of his. I just didn't like the way he played in the championship game, but maybe it was just not fair. It wasn't a fair fight. Okay. Because he just unraveled under fire. Okay. So the point is, I like J.J. better than I like Drake May. So I have him as the third quarterback. Would I take him third overall? I probably wouldn't because I wouldn't have enough body we, of work. That's what we're talking about. That's all, I know. We're not talking yeah. about whether or not he's the third best quarterback. Yeah. We're talking about the third, third overall. pick of the draft. Well, they need a quarterback, obviously. You know? Okay. Yeah, just because, just because, and I tell this to people all the time, just because I need something doesn't mean that I have to reach to go get it. Doesn't mean because I need a wide receiver, I got to draft that guy. I need a defensive tackle, I've got to draft that guy. If you do your due diligence and your homework, the way you're supposed to, then you should be able to find that value in that Good. player that fills that void. Because if you miss on him, this is going to set you back six, seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is what happens when you take quarterbacks high. Yeah. If you miss on quarterbacks, you never rebound. I you saw, never rebound. I saw a quote from Gerard Mayo yesterday to Mike Reese, their beat reporter. Uh -huh. I love Mike. <laughs> so do I. And <laughs> Gerard Mayo said, I'm not asking for patience, but then again, maybe I am. Because it's like, yeah, because they got a long See, way you know, to go. You know, it, it's, not, it's not too often that you have a Peyton Manning for whatever, 15 years, and then Andrew Luck falls right as soon as Manning gets hurt. 
Andrew Luck falls in your lap. Because if Manning doesn't hurt his neck, there is no Andrew Luck. It is not very often that you've drafted Deshaun Watson, things happen what they happen with him, and two years later, you find C.J. Stroud. It doesn't happen like that. No. It usually, you, you <clears throat> lose a Peyton Manning, and you go for the next 10 years looking for Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. You don't find Andrew Luck, or you lose a Deshaun Watson, and you t spend the next seven and eight years trying to find him <clears throat> because they're just not out there like yep. that. And you wind up reaching... Yep. And grabbing somebody thinking that that's that guy, and it's not that guy. The Cleveland Browns did it for 100 years, mm. and they still try to figure it out. You lose Troy Aikman, and you spend the next 30 years looking for the next Troy Aikman, right? And we're still trying. Uh, we we're still out. searching, and we're looking, and we don't the, have the, it. The, the, the we fact, don't have the, it. The facts are, mm. you are correct. Mm. You've been searching for Troy Aikman since Troy Aikman left the building. Correct. I don't care if it was Hutchison. Quincy yeah, Carter. How could you bring him up? But go I'm ahead. just saying. I know. It I'm just happened. thinking about the quarterbacks that came after Troy. Oh, You've been Lord. looking for him every since. Who did you play with? When you were I there? played with, well, Tester Verde was older, Drew Bledsoe, Drew Henson. <laughs> those are the three that took snaps. Tony Romo was on our practice squad. Mm. But those three, those three guys were the ones who actually took snaps. And Quincy Carter was there, but he wound up getting released in training camp. Okay. Did you see Tony in practice? Yeah. Did you no, like I, who? I liked him. As a person. You liked him as a person? Yeah, but as a quarterback, he, nah. he, he just was a kid. So yeah. you couldn't... Yeah. There's no way you could tell what Tony was going to turn but he out would, to be. Would he do scout team? Yeah, he yeah. would be scout team. But he would... Yeah. Uh, scout team is easy. It's a circle. Throw the ball over there. Yeah. It's, not, it's not that difficult. It's yeah. like, hey, throw it to him. He should be open. Well, as you said, the Jets are still looking for the next Keyshawn, right? I, man, I ain't lying. Yeah. I understand Garrett Wilson is having a nice career so mm. far. But it's, they still looking for that number 19. Okay, so I want you on record about J.J. McCarthy. You would not take him in the first round of the I, draft. I, I personally, me personally, if, at that if he was, high of a spot. If he was sitting there at 25, you would say, you know If I'm sitting there what? at 25 and, and we're having a conversation and he's got to go to a Minnesota, for instance, mm -hmm. because we got Sam Darnold as a bridge guy, I may, I may say, okay. I may say... You know what? Let's let's use our twenty fifth pick on it. Let's use our twenty sixth pick on it. Okay. I would do that. All right. I would do that. That's fine. That that's a that's a that's a developmental situation. That low in the draft. Yep. That low in the draft. That's a developmental situation. Okay. Is is two time MVP and Lamar Jackson was the last pick in the first he round. He was. Aaron, okay. Aaron Rodgers was the twenty fourth overall pick. He was somewhere in the... I think he was 24. Yeah. yeah. And so they drafted Aaron Rodgers to develop him behind Brett Favre. You're asking me... <clears throat> it took you're, three years. Go you're, ahead. You're yeah. asking me to draft J.J. McCarthy with the third pick. The and third it, pick is not developmental. And, and if you do take him with the third pick, you, you almost have to start him next year. You, I don't even know who's on their roster. Mm. I think Zappi might still He's be there still or whatever. Right but I don't know who's on their roster at the quarterback spot. You're going to have to play him sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. The number three pick of the draft ain't sitting around for three years. No, nope. your just fans not, won't accept it. It's they not going to happen. Because you're bad anyway. So if I'm, if I'm drafting in the 20s yep. at that low, yeah, of okay. course. All right. Well, at least you went that far. You're giving that much respect as a developmental it's not 25th a, it's pick. Not a, it's not a respect or a disrespect. It's just he hasn't done enough for me to jump on a table and say, I like him at the third spot. Yeah. It's just, it had, he hadn't done enough. By the way, Tim Tebow went 25th overall. Remember that? Yeah, Josh McDaniels Josh got McDaniels. fired. Well, that wasn't why he got fired. But I'm just telling you, he got fired. Well, midway through Tebow's rookie year, he got fired. And if you're sitting here trying to convince me that Tim Tebow, that I don't want to go there because we'll have a whole, we'll, we'll burn it all through our segments if you're trying to convince <laughs> me that Tim Tebow was the guy. Don't do it. Well, all he did was win a play. Oh, God, I mean, stop, I man. He took stop. a one and four team to a division title. How did he do that? I don't know. A two-yard throw and the rest was to the house. Really? Stop. Huh. I, I think he threw it about 30 yards in Let's overtime stop. against Pittsburgh. I, I don't know. I, I'll remember it like it was yesterday. Greatest pass in NFL history. God. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.